A women's Muay Thai fight set for three rounds of action at two minutes per round. Coming in from Germany and the red corner, we have Leone Bill from Sitjal Paul Gym in Hua Han. Let's give Leone a big round of applause as she makes her way to the ring. Oh, that's here. Leone, Leone from Germany. I have no idea. I'm so confused. I have no I literally have no idea. Yeah, that's my friend, that's how I know. I train with her. And I train with the other girls too. Yeah, Julie is in the red. What's it called? Yeah. I know both of them. And her opponent, hailing from America, Julia Miller! Miller coming to us by way of Muay Thai Academy here in Klong Doi, Bangkok. Both athletes coming in at 58 kilos. Miller standing at 175 centimeters with a record of four and one. So this might actually three minutes three minute now. now. Yeah. This bout actually set for three by three rounds of action. So three minutes per round. Should be interesting to see how this one goes. Julia actually fought here at Ultra Instinct about a month ago, uh, coming in on super short notice. Yeah, so I trained with both of these girls. Um, I actually, Julia visited my gym briefly before that fight. Um, and Leo, she trains with us all the time. I saw her yesterday at the gym. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. Both of these girls are very conditioned. Every day in the pre in the post workout run, they both had energy left. Yeah, you can see Julia definitely very very nervous. But you know her last fight, Julia was also very very nervous and performed great. She worked know. hard. Both of these girls worked really hard. Yeah. Leone of Sitjal Paul Gym in Hua Hin, a very very good technical gym. Yeah, she trained with us a lot at FA Group. Uh, Julia, trying to out-muscle Leone in the clinch. But like you said, if 
Leone has been training at FA Group, and I know Citro Pa trains the Clint. So yeah. we'll see if Julia is actually able to work the Clint and really out muscle Julia or not. The hard jabs coming in from Julia. Ooh, walking knee. This is a real knee fight here. Yeah. This is a cow fight all day. Yeah. You saw a beautiful walking knee from Julia. I think coming in with that knee. Julia oh, nice knee again from Julia. Oh, walk that walk-in left knee. Yeah. Just Julia. I think Leone's doing good, doing good work, mm -hmm. maintaining the clinch and getting knees in the clinch. Yeah, but Julia is the bigger of the two. She also came down considerably in weight, dropping about three kilos. Mm. I didn't know that. This is a really technical and exciting fight. Yeah, um, yeah you see Julia with that nice knee guard. Yeah, I'm More of an advanced tactic. It is. She's, I think she's very successful landing that knee in the mid-range walking in. And it's a powerful knee. I think Leo has to tie her up more and score. Maintaining the clinch. Julia has to go long, long range with her. And Julia again just seems to consistently be trying to outmuscle Leone. Yes. Oh, nice left knee. Oh, nice leg kick from Leone, though. Yeah, Leone's a workhorse. She's coming forward. She's pushing the pace. Oh, if, I think if Leone is able to keep Julia away a bit more and pick her shots, she might do better. I think so, because Julia's got a better control of range. Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the long knees are doing some damage. Yeah, for sure. But Leone has shown a lot of fortitude so far. You know, since Julia did drop a lot of weight, she might potentially tire out as well. That's something I wanted to know. I want to see who's going to show signs of fatigue first, because they both train really hard. I, I would like to see that. I, I can't tell. Yeah. Oh, beautiful left knee to the body there from Julia. Oh, a nice kick to the head. Uh, high kick there from Leone. Those long knees are a problem. Yeah. Those are the sorts of knees that will gas you out end of the first round. Yeah. Leone still has a spring in her step, though. She's yeah. bouncing around from yeah. under the corner. She doesn't look worn. I'm, I'm telling you, both of these girls train really hard. I'm proud of them both. Yeah, both of the athletes have done well so far. We'd give that round a edge to Miller from America. Those, those are some high-scoring knees. Mm -hmm. um, also, I, I still can't tell who's going to fatigue first because it takes a lot of energy to upkeep that pace, but to get hit with those knees takes energy as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is a really good match. Yeah. I think Leone should try to establish a bit more control with the clinch, mm -hmm. her hand position, and land some knees while tying her up. Yeah. I think that would work for her more because that mid-range, long, straight knee yeah. is high scoring and damaging. It'll wear you out. She can't let those win. Leone was doing well when the two were wrapped up close to the ropes, and Leone was able to score with some beautiful side knees. Just going bop, bop, bop. I think but, she has the advantage in those. Yeah. But like you said before, Julia doesn't have that range and distance. She's able to score more with the longer knees up straight to the body. Absolutely. So about 30 seconds left before we go into the second round of action. Man, this is a really exciting and well-made well match. Very, very good matchup. Just their body types, everything about the matchup. I'm yeah. very impressed with it. And Julia still has a little bit of nervous energy to her, but it looks like she's calming down. Oh, nice high kick there from Leone to start things off. But Julia with a strong cross. Oh, good job. Oh, nice left knee there from Julia. I think this is where Leone's the most strong, the most efficient, right here. 
But it's about Leone getting to the right position. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And a lot of times, Julia is just sort of le leaning heavy on her, using her size to that advantage. I think Leone's clearly the more efficient in that Ooh. position. Yeah, there they are on the clinch. Leone working the knees. Nice knee guard there from the German fighter. This is so good. This is so good. High kick there from Leone. But the kicks from Julia just have so much more power to them. Yeah. I think it's, you know, a little bit of that size difference. Yeah. She has good form too. Her acceleration on the kick is really good. Um, I think Leone should tie her up as soon as possible. Mm. But Leone doing a good job maintaining her composure, really unfazed so far. Yeah, she's 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 literally a workhorse. She works so hard in the gym, so does Julia. We're halfway through the second round now. I think Leone can't sit back. Well. She has to come forward. She's way more efficient in time, Julia. <laughs> So nice tip there from Julia and that long knee. Neither neither fighter is tired. So that uh, upward elbow, we haven't really seen that many elbows. Both of the athletes wearing elbow pads and able to elbow. Yeah, I haven't seen you know, that was the first attempt. Yeah. Um, the only scene to her strategy is trying to learn more kicks. Julia still has the advantage of the kicks. Right? No raffle. This is just back and forth. Yeah. About 20 seconds left here. Oh, nice body kick there from Julia. Oh, one, two. The left body kick. And pressing the face of Julia. Here's the last few seconds. Good use of Oh, beautiful long knee from Julia. And there's the end of the second round. What do you think should happen for both fighters? In you know, I think Leone is doing a good job considering the size difference. Um, and I think there is a pretty obvious power difference right now. Um, and that power difference is uh, impacting her abilities in the clinch and obviously outside. Uh, that said, I do think that Leone has shown some good advantageous positions in the clinch. Maybe she needs to start elbowing in the clinch. Maybe she needs to, you know, work a few different weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that she should stay in this mid and outside range. I definitely agree with everything you said. And unfortunately, due to the size advantage, it sounds bad that we're saying she should, I think she should come forward more. Mm -hmm. She's safer. When I'm watching the significant strikes that land, there when she's in the mid and outside range from the round kick and the straight knee, mm. she's way more safe and efficient on the inside. Mm -hmm. She's way more efficient and safe on the inside. She, it's hard because there's a size advantage, but she definitely has to come in and tie her up. Yeah. And uh, like you said, more variety in strikes. Yeah, 83% of the online audience voting for the fight going the way of Julia. Definitely on my unofficial scorecard, Julia taking two rounds over Leone as we go into this third and final round. You know, I do think the German fighter could potentially turn this around. She opened up with the elbows. She has the weapons, definitely has the technique, but can she pull it out of the hat, if you will? I think she has to use a bit more forward pressure because on the outside, she's getting hit with the bat every time the round kick comes. She's got to use a bit more forward pressure and land those inside uh, round knees. So a touch of the gloves as we go into this third and final round. And there, Julia staying at this longer range. Oh, again, there's a long knee and then Julia back 
to that long range. You know, again, back in way, getting to this better advantageous range for her. She's fighting intelligently. She's striking yeah. and getting out, striking and getting out. Yep. She's saving her energy, not, not going to clinch again. Oh, snapping back the head there. The only very tough though, looks determined. Now we go into the clinch. Good cross guard from Julia, yeah. but Leone was landing a few decent yeah. knees there. This is a much better strategy for Julia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, staying on the outside. Ooh, powerful right body kick. Snapping back the head. Yeah. Staying out of the clinch as well. Yeah, she's disengaging. She's not yep. really Ooh, a lot of power. Yo, Leone's non-stop. So she's working really hard. Oh, nice left body kick there from Julia. Snapping back the head. Oh, oh, the long knee, the right hand. Yeah. It's a very tough place. She's doing a great job, though. Julia's fighting way more Ooh. intelligently, standing the outside, striking. That. The only trying to work her way in against the bigger girls very hard. Yeah, she needs, like... Just a little bit more aggression. Needs to figure out a way past the long guard of Julia. Very difficult. Yeah, very difficult. I guess a bigger person to come forward is very difficult. Yeah, Leone has been doing a good job, though. Definitely not taking too much damage. Sound defensively. We have about 50 seconds left here in this third and final round. Very good strategy for Julia, cross guarding and disengaging. Yeah, really playing to her strength, Julia. More of a kickboxing oriented strategy. Yeah, and <laughs> Leone shaking her head like, no, no, that really didn't hurt. Yeah, she's non stop. Yeah. Seriously. And so I know it, both of these girls are just ridiculously tough. So, last 30 seconds. Put your back, put your back. Big jab cross there from Julia. Good push kick. Oh, strong cross. Julia looking to finish this one with force. Yeah, she's got power. All of her strength. Oh, nice body shot there from Leone. Oh, snapping back the head. Let's give it up to both of our boxers. We will go to the judge's decision. Alright. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, no, that was a really good fight. I think uh, it was very hard for Leon to get inside. Julia did a great job keeping her in long and And after three rounds of action, we have a winner. By decision, in the blue corner, Julia Miller! Congratulations again to both athletes. Play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they scheme Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they 
they draw the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind Can take you so far, it's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, so I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create Never waste time, you got one shot You got one life, better pop off What do you like? Make a dream job No 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what a